The University of Tampa has changed a lot. This dorm wasn't here. No, no, this is all unbelievable. John Elite says he's changed too. He came here from New York 35 years ago to play baseball at UT. But when an injury ended his dreams, his bat became part of his arsenal as a mafia enforcer. I admitted to dozens of shootings, uh, multiple, multiple murders. I would go do shootings by myself. I wouldn't even bring guys. Ruthless. I'd shoot three guys, four guys at a clip. He was with the Gambino crime family, John Gotti Jr. and his father, the famous Dapper Don. But John Elite saw opportunity back in Tampa. This time it wasn't baseball, it was organized crime. Tampa was an open city. I knew there wasn't a lot of competition down here. And he knew the mafia history of Tampa. For years, the Traficanis were down here making big money, and I seen an opportunity, and I moved down here and uh, made a ton of money. He went into the parking and valet businesses, nightclubs. Businesses with lots of cash, some of it earned illegal. So Club Mirage was right over there? Yeah. It's now a vacant lot near Dale Mabry and Hillsborough. I had lines around the corner. I used to have 1,500, 2,000 people every night here. But the FBI was on to him. He fled the country to Paris, Colombia, Rio. He was finally caught and put in prison in Brazil, then extradited back to Tampa, where he would admit to a shocking list of crime. I believe are involved in, in about 45 shootings. I, I said I was the shooter approximately of about 37 people. He thinks as few as eight or 10 may have actually died. But at least I can be honest and say it could be up to 15 murders and 45 shootings. What I did in the past, I'm ashamed of. I can't take it back. I told my children. I'm your dad, I love you, I made terrible mistakes. Sentenced to 10 years, he was released in 2013. As part of his deal, he testified against other mobsters. Will they come after him? The risk I take of somebody coming after me, that's fine, I've dealt with my whole life that way. But he says he's had enough. I've been beaten all over the street, I've been stabbed, I've been baseball batted, I've been hit with cars, I've been in solitary confinement for years at a time. Elite's story is in a new book called Gotti's Rules by George Anastasia, where he goes after his old boss. I was the typical kid that was intimidated by him. I looked up to him. He says Gotti Jr. was actually an informer, and the dapper Don, his father, was just a made-for-TV image. He was a monster. He wasn't a good guy. So all this bullshit and this image that they're showing these kids, Somebody's got to say something. Elite says he's speaking out now to help keep kids away from organized crime and to dispel what he says is the myth of honor in the mafia. We swear loyalty to you. And when time comes, if somebody gives an order, that friend's going to be the one that's going to shoot you in the back of the head. Wishing he could come back to Tampa like the first time. You know, it's unfortunate we don't get two times around. As a member of the baseball team, not the mafia. Lloyd Sowers, Fox 13 News.